Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla, here to talk to you today about Rizoma mirrors. You should be checking out a set of Rizoma mirrors for your motorcycle if you're having trouble growing eyes in the back of your head. Also, you should look into Rizoma mirrors if you're looking for a mobile eyeliner checker. In all seriousness, you should be grabbing a set of these, obviously, to see behind you. Mirrors are an important part of the safety situation on your motorcycle. Now, Rizoma's making stuff to fit a wide variety of motorcycles. You should know that many of their mirrors are somewhat universal, so the bike finder may or may not help you depending on what it is that you're looking for. However, they offer all manner of adapters and kits in order to use just about any mirror on just about any motorcycle. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute when we get into installation, which is pretty easy on these. I'm gonna call this either a difficult one beard or an easy two beard. Again, depending on your motorcycle and the mirror you actually wanna install in there. We'll cover that a little bit more thoroughly at the end of the video. Right now, let's jump into who Rizoma is, what they're doing as far as their product is concerned. Rizoma is pretty much your archetypal Italian company. These guys are turning out beautiful products with a premium price tag to match. Now, the reason, of course, they get Away with that is because these things are absolutely gorgeous. This is moto sexy for your motorcycle. Now you can see we've got kind of a large assortment of mirrors sitting up here. You'd think there wouldn't be a whole lot to talk about in terms of mirrors, but there are a couple things that make these things really neat. The first thing you're probably noticing is the wide variety of styles as well as fits on here. You'll see mirrors like these ones, clamp-ons for a set of handlebars. We've also got some bar end mirrors here for those of you looking for more of a cafe look or trying to minimize sort of the height of the front end of your bike. Down here you'll see standard clutch and perch mount mirrors. Notice we've also got a mirror over here with electric turn signals built right into this as well. For these particular style mirrors too, you're also gonna see adapters to run these on a sport bike. So you can actually put them on the front end of your fairings. These are made to work in a lot of different situations. One of the things that's really cool about Rizoma mirrors. One of the other things that's really neat too, I'm not sure if you can catch it in the camera here, but you'll notice all sorts of machining on these. They're absolutely beautiful. They've taken the, the patterns that the machines leave in the aluminum here, and they've actually kind of beautified that and turned it into a focal point of the mirror, which is super neat. Now I mentioned aluminum there. These things are handcrafted from billet aluminum. It's super duper nice stuff. They come out looking absolutely fantastic as you can see. And one of the things you may have noticed here too is that these are glass mirrors, real glass. They're convex, so you get a good field of view on there, but the glass really does provide for optical clarity. If you've ever used a glass mirror versus a mirror that's plastic, you'll know that there can be some distortion that can come with plastic, especially with age. Glass really does stay looking nice for the life of the mirror. Mirror. So now we've got to jump into the installation bit, and I feel like part of that's going to come back to two, what Rizoma actually offers here. As I had mentioned, some of these are very universal in nature. However, Rizoma offers all manner of fit kits, and there's adapters in the boxes with many of these style mirrors, so you can use almost any mirror on almost any bike. Like I had mentioned, they have plates so that you can use these things on the front of a sport bike. You can obviously see some of these are a little bit more universal for those of you who are running a handlebar style, and you'll also have traditional clutch and perch mounted mirrors as well. So your installation difficulty really is gonna be highly related to what's on your bike now and what you wanna replace it with. One of the other things too that's gonna to bump up your installation difficulty just a little bit is again, if you run with something uh, with an electrical turn signal in there, you're obviously gonna to have to have not just a little bit of mechanical installation knowledge and possibly some very light fab knowledge, but you're also gonna to need to know exactly how to wire up a mirror. This is one of those times when your bike's uh, electrical diagram contained within your service manual can really come in handy. All that having been said though, if you are a halfway decent home mechanic with a fairly average set of hand tools, you should be able to put a set of Rizoma mirrors onto your bike without too much difficulty at all. Now, this is probably one of the nicest assortment of mirrors I've seen up here. I really like these things, despite the fact that I don't have a bike in my garage right now that's exactly perfect for a Rizoma mirror, but don't take my word for it. Click down below, check out what some other folks who are rocking a Rizoma mirror on their bike have to say about them. If you've got any questions regarding selection or fit too, don't be shy, get in touch with us, we can help you out. We have Gear Geeks standing by. You can reach them by phone, 877-792-9455. Of course, you can also send us an email to CS at RevZilla.com. I'm Lem, I'm out of here.